morning. How is everybody doing? Today we are gonna go on a little field trip all over town today because I have to go get my glasses, I have to go get some groceries done, and we gotta clean out my car. I know some of you are gonna be like, oh my god, why is that in your car? Why does your car look like that? How come you don't keep it clean? Listen, I keep my car clean, okay? Sometimes it's just very difficult to keep up with it not getting messy. I end up just piling everything in the car and call it a day. I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll just do it tomorrow. And then I end up saying tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow because I'm working, working, working. And then I'm also trying to do the, all the chores in the house and I'm also trying to take care of my dog. And then it's just like three months later and then I'm like, wow, I really need to clean up my car. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't even remember the last time I cleaned my car. So it probably has been well over two to three months. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm trying to go outside and you know, my front door won't let me out. Phenomenal, sounds phenomenal. Are you serious right now? Somebody explain what is happening. You know what? I just don't understand this house. I've had to already disconnect the doorbell. It kept going off randomly. Yeah, no, yeah, no, it's not happening. Great, amazing. Anyways. So this is my beautiful little work car. She's all kinds of dirty. Uh, right now my primary focus is inside because I don't have the tools to, oh hey! What's up baby? Okay, let's get started. I already have a trash bag ready. Get all this garbage out. What is this? Oh, this was my shipment of my new UPS uniforms that came in. I got another receipt. Let's see how old this receipt is. Oh, he's 18. Oh, some old food in here. Oh, there's no food in it, thank God. Under the seat, looks like I made some tip money already. Greasy napkins. There's so much hair in this car. Oh my God. What is this? Oh, a free medium slushie from Sonic. Yes, bitch. I might go there today. Ranch dressing. <laughs> A box of UPS uniforms. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my lanta. I did hair yesterday, so I brought my whole kit with me. Oh yeah, that's kind of nasty. Yell at me in the comments below. My car should never get like this. Oh, look at this, a thank you card from my bank and I never opened it. Phew, what is this? It sounds like seeds. Look at that, it's a cute little money plant. I have to grow and I'm horrible with anything to do with plants. An old McDonald's cup. Blech. Oh God, my Burger King bag. I don't even wanna know how old that is. Oh no, where's my pepper spray? It's not in here. My strap from my pocketbook that broke. Upsetting. And my beautiful long CVS receipt. Gorgeous, baby. If anybody has any advice on how to get rid of all this hair, please let me know. I'm gonna finish vacuuming up the car, so when I'm finished, I'll show a result. This scent is cashmere, um, warm cashmere from Yankee Candle. This is how my dash turned out. I don't have the best tools. Obviously, you don't wanna really clean your car with paper towels because it leaves little dusts, like not dusts, but like the little spectacles everywhere. But other than that, I feel like my dash turned out beautifully and perfectly. I also cleaned the seats. This is what I used to clean, Better Life Purpose Cleaner. It does say that you can use it for your cars. Toilets, countertops, appliances, upholstery, baseboards, walls, floors, tables, showers, boats, cars, sporting equipment, toys, whatever. So, and it also says can be safe around kids and pets, which is primarily my focus whenever I buy cleaners. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this, if you think it's good or whatnot. So, this is the back seat, his little canopy, and there he is crying. And then, this is my front seat now. Aren't you guys proud of me? Tell me that you're proud of me. <laughs> because today's like my optional day, 
I decided to take it off and get all these things done because yesterday I went and hung out with my family until like 10 o'clock at night so I didn't get anything done so I still need to do my laundry but I have to go out and get all the last minute things that I need for the rest of my month and I can't wait to see my new glasses <laughs> oh my god you guys I'm so excited look at my black pair hmm. yes girl what I'll show you guys my red pair too hold on Bam. Ooh, look at my red. Mm, stunner. I'm a stunner over here, baby. <laughs> but I'm gonna wear my black ones for today because they kind of go with the rest of my outfit. But which ones do you like better? Comment down below. Red or black? So I'm here at Walmart and I know they don't like when you're recording in here. So I'm trying to be sneaky and I forgot why I came here, you guys. Like, I... <laughs> literally can't remember what I came here for. So you guys, like, I went to Walmart and completely forgot why I needed to go to Walmart. Like, somebody send help. This is why I don't go to Walmart without a list. And also, I don't know if it's just my brain, but every time I go to Walmart, I'm like instant super hungry. I'm like, oh my god. Like, I, everything I want to buy, I just want to eat it right then and there. And I know that about myself. So I have to have try to have some kind of control to not buy everything that I'm like oh my god I want to eat that I want to eat that I want to eat that these I bought specifically because I was hungry and I was like I want to eat one of those but I also just love cheese danishes all right I'm taking a quick lunch break and if you know me and you work with me you know damn well that I have been craving a cheeseburger all week so I was like you know what I'm gonna go get me a cheeseburger because I just want one that bad I went to Sonic and their parking lot was busy AF. So I went to the dollar store parking lot because it's quieter. Just get a regular cheeseburger with no pickles. I do not like pickles. And you know what? When I ordered this burger, I was like, just no pickles. And then they're like, oh, do you want the lettuce and the tomatoes? Oh, do you want the, the mayo and the ketchup and this and this? All I said was no pickles. Make the cheeseburger however the cheeseburger comes with no pickles. That's it. That's, like, was it really that hard? No. So, I wanted to tell you guys real quick the story about my pinky. I have a go-to salon that I like to go get my nails done at. But they were closed. Closed early on Sunday and they were closed on Monday, which are the only two days I have off. So I had to go back to the old place of where I used to get my nails done. And, first of all, they're expensive as hell. Second off. I was there for four hours when they were fixing my nails and doing my toes, which is ridiculous. I shouldn't be there for four hours. I'm sorry, not sorry. If you go get your nails done, you know damn well the difference between gel and acrylic. Gel goes in the UV light. Acrylic does not. It just needs air and it hardens, okay? So I start doing my nail, and at this point, two weeks ago, my pinky was broken. She had to put a whole new one on it, which they charge extra for, by the way. So she glues it on or whatever and then she starts doing the fill on all of the other nails and she makes me put my hands in the uv light mind you i'm getting acrylic nails like what no no and i went to put my pinky in there it burned so bad i was like holy crap and i took it out of the light and i just kept shaking it shaking it shaking it shaking it shaking it i was like yo it, it burns like it burns so bad now two days ago it was already lifting. Mind you, my normal girl I go to, these nails have been on for almost a month and a half and they have not peeled the same way that this has peeled. So this one was already lifting and I was like, are you serious? And it didn't hurt. So I was like, all right, let me take it off because it doesn't hurt. When I looked down at my fingernail, I was like, I am never going back there again. She had to glue a fake nail onto it. So the glue melted my nail. So now I'm scared. I don't know if my pinky is gonna grow back or not. And I'm just like, so what do I do? I'm like really pissed off because I was gonna get my nails done today on top of everything that I had to do. And I just don't want to. And now this. This has never happened to me before, ever. I've never had a nail or nail glue eat my freaking nail. Put a one if you like cheeseburgers or a two if you like hamburgers. Come below. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get some <laughs> It almost opened up on me I thought we weren't supposed to be using styrofoam And here Sonic's still using styrofoam Watching you And oh my god is that hurting so bad Going down Ugh. 
I've never had a slushie before from Sonic. I don't even drink soda. I really don't like soda. I gave up soda in high school. It, it, it burns my throat as I drink it. And I really don't like that feeling at all. I can't wait to show you guys all the things that I bought because you know me, like I need to, um, I need to get yelled at. I bought way too many things that I did not need, but at the same time, I never get to go out. I never get to go shopping. So I like to get myself a couple things for the house or for me. So like, I want to yell at myself and then I don't because I rarely get time to do anything. But then that's good because then I'm saving money, but then I'm really not saving that much money. <laughs> cares you know what i'm just trying to live life like whatever Here we go. so i got this blanket originally i bought it for my dog because i was like oh he needs a blanket in his crate it's getting cold soon and then i was thinking about it and touching it and holding it for a while and i was like you know what this is gonna be the blanket for the couch it's gonna be the couch throw <laughs> it was on clearance at bath and body bed bath and body works i always get those two mixed up Bed Bath & Beyond. It was on clearance for 15 bucks. It's a twin size blanket, but like, I will never get mad if y'all wanna gift me blankets. I love blankets, especially the fleece ones that are so warm. The only thing is like, I hate when companies package their blankets like this. Like it's just, just this holding it all together because do you know how much people probably touched this? How many times it fell on the floor? How many times it was in a cart, taken out of a cart, fell in the back of a truck, fell on the ground at, in the back office, warehouse kind of thing. Like, it's kind of disgusting. So, even still, like, learning or, like, working at UPS, I have learned that whenever I buy clothing of any kind or bed sheets or anything, I always wash them first. <laughs> so, the other thing I ended up buying was some Keurig coffee cups. Now, this isn't the one that I normally get. That's why I said it's something that I wanted that I didn't really need because I just get regular basic coffee, no flavor. And then I saw this box and I was like, oh, hold up. Butter pecan, caramel apple, caramel pumpkin, and cinnamon bun. Hold on, baby. This is going to keep me in fall gear. Ooh, I cannot wait to try this, especially butter pecan. That is my favorite flavor at Dunkin' Donuts. And when they only run it for the summertime, I get so mad. I'm like, why? Why? How about you just get rid of French vanilla? Because nobody cares about French vanilla. It's so basic as hell anyway. And bring and keep the butter pecan, okay? The last item I ended up getting at Bath and Body Works, I almost... Wow, no, I did say the wrong one again. The other item I got at Bed Bath & Beyond was something that I really just wanted because I was like, oh my God, that will look so cute on the kitchen counter. And then I can get rid of some of the old mugs that are actually chipping and starting to fall apart on the inside. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it, why not? So they had this bad boy. And I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. So this little section right here, I can stack up all the K cups in, um, I think four rows, well, six rows will probably fit in here. Fits up to 18 coffee pods, it says. And these are all the mugs that go with it, which is perfect for my house because I like, to, I like the light colors because my house is the light blue anyway. So I try to keep it light to, you know, keep a contrast in the house. And the cups or the mugs themselves say rise and grind but first coffee hot stuff and coffee obsessed and i was like i just i just, I just need it i like it i need it i want it on the counter and like leave me alone that's it it was just so cute i needed it and the last store i went to today oh wait no i'm sorry the second to last store i went to today because i did go to the pet store and i got my dog some pet food I went to the dollar store and I got a couple of decorations that I was like, oh my God, like this will go perfect with all the other decor that I have that I haven't put up yet. Please don't yell at me. I just don't have time. So I got both of these, which I'm sure if you went to the dollar store, you guys would have seen them. You can read them. They look really cool. Like I like it. I liked it. And then I got, oh my God, I cannot wait to try this. So this is like three plus a uh, kid's costume is supposed to be a pirate vest and I was like looking at it and looking at it and looking and I was like Roscoe 
I'm going to try and put this on my dog and see if it'll fit him. And he'll be a little pirate for Halloween. And then I just got some dog bone treats for Roscoe, which he's staring at. He's going to make his way over here because he knows these are for him. He eats these no problem. If you guys know anything about these, if I shouldn't be feeding him these, if you've heard stories, please let me know. Kennel Club. It's a little paw print with GKC on it, and it does say it's grain free filled bone and it's long lasting. I got him bacon flavor and two peanut butter flavors. So let's see how he does. Come here. <laughs> He's a happy camper. Hope you guys had a good day today. I know I had a lot going on today. I started getting a headache after a while and I was just like, oh, Marlanta. Oh, he's enjoying this. Let me show y'all. You getting it? <laughs> he's just like playing with it. There he goes. <laughs> Well, come here, I want to try this on you. Can I try it on you? <laughs> I don't know if I should put it on backwards or not. Oh, he already ran away. <laughs> Roscoe, let mommy put this on you. Can I put it on you? Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> come on. Come on, one tree. Come here. I tried putting it on you backwards and it's not working. Ah, let me try the other way. Come here. Good boy. Ah, you guys, it's too small. He's definitely way bigger than a 3T. There's no way I can put his arm through here. Oh man, that's so upsetting. Good boy though. You you did a good job Troy letting me try it on. Baby. Good boy. Ready to go? You did a good puppy. Well, I hope you guys had a good day and a good night wherever you are. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and let me know how adorable my baby is. Oh. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.